Hello everybody. Boy, this is going to be a fun one. This is uh, one of my more challenging ones. Uh, this actually is a slew landing that I do from the other direction routinely whenever the uh, river drops out and allows it. But uh, this is the first season in two or three seasons that this, uh, that this landing zone has been available. You can see the river goes straight on down and makes a curve and comes back around and this little slough kind of cuts across the middle of the river and uh, opens back up into the other side. But it uh, this is the only direction, uh, the way the uh, river is washed that you can run it this time because there's a two foot step up from the other end. You'll see in a minute that you can't touch down that direction. If you do touch down at 35, 40 coming from the other way, it'll launch you back up in the air. So you can see there it rolls off You've got to come in from the opposite direction, but it uh, it kind of got a really tight section there. And so after rolling it one time, which you just seen, and kind of checking out the technical aspects of it, then it's time to come back around. And boy, you better have your P's and Q's in order here. You really don't see the touchdown area until you get right on it, until it starts uh, straightening out after those trees. But you round the trees there, and I actually brushed my wing through uh, tip through one of those uh, willows, and you touch down. And as soon as you start rolling out, there's a two foot drop off that kind of comes from the right rear to the left front. Right about there, you can see it roll to the right a bit. And then you come to a stop. And after that, you kind of survey where you are and then kind of ponder what's up next. And you can see right here in this still photo on the right there, the right lower, you can see the uh, the drop off. And this is looking back from the other direction that, uh, man, it's a narrow run out area. You only had a, a probably about a, oh, I don't know, 15 to 20 foot section there that, and you couldn't get too close to the trees. And you'll see in a minute after takeoff, I wound up taking some of the swamp with me after I took off. I got my left wing tip too close to one of the willows and drug out some willow limbs with me but anyhow this is the back taxi i'm on down the uh, i actually did uh, after stopping and surveying everything and looking at the landing zone that i used i realized down on the bottom side of the shelf in other words on the down uh, the little two foot drop off i thought well man that's a little more firmer sand because there's more water saturation I uh, thought, well, I'll use that. I actually walked it, cleaned it up a little bit, and I got a look in it, pondering here, and I actually went ahead and shoved my canopy, and I got to thinking, you know, this will be my spot, but then I got to looking at it, and I looked and studied a little bit longer, and I looked back behind me, and I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and taxi up the little two-foot shelf. It wasn't a, a, a sheer drop. It's just a smooth transition, but I'm going to taxi back up that, and I'm going to back taxi on around those willow trees, even though I'll have to do a little bit of a curving takeoff approach I'd, I'd still rather have the longer run and be able to uh, have opportunity to build speed a little bit more and so i did that i uh just fired up and taxied on back up the uh on top of, and actually got in the same area where i landed and uh got down here as far as i thought that i needed to and uh powered back up and turned around and after doing that i <laughs> excuse me i got my uh canopy button back up here after looking at everything and kind of getting situated you can see there you can't see the landing zone or the takeoff zone from here you have to do a curving takeoff but i also did one of the little mistakes i've done before i lawn darted here which is something i rarely do in the years that i've been doing this this is probably only about the second or third time i've ever done it but this was really soft sand and when i powered up i popped my brakes just a little bit too much didn't modulate them just right and whoa there it went and uh, come off the power, but it wasn't a big deal. So I powered back up, kind of lightened up on the brakes a bit and took some of that willow tree right there on the left with me when I left. But I went ahead and uh, got going on the takeoff roll and then finally got up and away we went. And uh, it was really a fun, uh, it was a fun uh, place to land. It's one of the more challenging spots. You can really make a, a boo-boo here and you'd wind up uh, hard pressed, be hard to get your mount out of there also. But coming up right here, I'll show you a couple of the pictures. Look out there at that left wing tip. You see those willow trees that I flew home with. And then right here's the willow limbs on the back of it. But folks, it was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it.